masterclass. Today, the topic is is about paint uh, pouring. And Madeleine Celia uh, from the Paint Pouring People, she's here now. We're talking acrylic paint pouring, known for its incredible mesmerizing process and stunning results. Tell me about this mesmerizing process. What is the journey that I'm embarking on with you this afternoon? Okay, so acrylic paint pouring, the name says it all, really. So you take, um, you use acrylic paint, you mix it with um, different mediums because you want your paint to be fluidy. Um, so you get thousands of techniques, um, different techniques, you mix your paints differently. So depending on your technique that you're doing, you will mix your acrylic paints with water, maybe with silicon, um, so with all different kinds of uh, materials. And then you will use different tools to, um, to do different techniques. Okay, so today, We'll be we'll be doing a flip cup, okay. A flip cup. A flip cup. Which is so one? This is, is it the the like easiest. a style? Okay. It's the easiest one. It's a fun one. Um, and I always say, if 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 you um, got control issues, this is for you, because you can't plan anything with a flip cup. The more you plan, the less it will happen. Can you plan anything? I mean, you brought me some really beautiful examples of of paint pouring. I didn't know. The outcomes could be so precise. I, th I thought it would be just random kind of colors uh, with the rest um, kind of making sense in your imagination only. It depends on your technique. It depends on the technique that you pick. I mean, some of them, you, you can do a little bit of planning. So you fear. Did you intend it to be a feather? Yes. Okay. Yes. So that, that, that we intended. The one next to him. But you didn't intend the colors to be so ming almost within that feather. You pick your colors. So okay. you decide how, how minimal you want it to be, how busy you want it to be, how colorful you want it to be. It's not like a picture. You, you're not quite sure how the colors are going to land, right? No, you're not. Yeah. Especially with today's. Today's, what you see is what you get. Okay. <laughs> so can I, can I suspect then that you are like pleasantly surprised? Wow. Yes. What did I just do? Everyone, everyone is, you know, even people. So the thing with this is you, do, you don't need to be artistic. Yes. We're not using brushes. Um, this is painting for clarity. Yes. So this is abstract <laughs> art and, and, and you, um, it's unique. You can't copy um, your own painting. If you stand here today, Clarence, and you, you mix the same paint, you use the same cups and you use it on two different canvases, you can't, you, you, you can't copy it ever. So there's each never one, be a duplicate. never ever. It's an original like me. This is the nice thing about, about any art really, is that um, it's therapeutic, you know, so even people who doesn't like to do art, I had people, you know, especially the guys, they, um, they don't want to do it because it's art and they just come because the wife wants to come. And in the end, you know, they are the ones f loving this because it's, it's easy and it, it's so good for the soul. Yeah, I believe so. I, I, I read some, some pieces. But yeah, the guys, the, the closest they come to paint is paintball guns. <laughs> <laughs> so we did the mixing for you today. Uh, so we mixed our paints with a pouring medium. Okay, uh -huh. so the pouring medium is to make the make the the paint fluid. Is that that white sort of? This uh, white is this is there. the white yeah. bottle. Yes, so the the pouring medium you get thousands of different ones, but uh, you can just make it from normal school glue okay. and water. So we mix the water and the glue, and then we mix that with our acrylic paints, and then you just make sure you mix your colors well. Okay. Uh -huh. With the flip cup, uh, your colors will mix, but it's it's not like you're mixing your colors and you get. A, this is what makes it so amazing. There's a very few things that can go wrong with with this and while you at it who must do this who must come to a course that you offer <laughs> uh, at the moment we 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 just opened a venue for the paint pouring a nice big studio in Greenpound, right right next to you okay um so as from next year we will we will um do kits as well at the moment we only do 11 and up so everybody above 11 this last year all the people that we did we had from um from lawyers that said they they do this just to to calm down because for 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 that hour hour and a half they're not thinking about so anything a session else. lasts for 90 minutes at uh, it about? depends on the group size it, it depends on the group but one hour 1.5 to two hours um and you know just for fun stress it, it, it everybody loves it what does it cost and what does it include and how many styles do you learn in that in that in that uh, we just do one technique per, per okay. class because you use different tools for different um, techniques. So we prepare for A technique and A class. Right. And it is um, 340 per person. And we do we can come to, to your venue, which okay. we found out that people don't want because they think, you know, there's paint all over the walls. Yes. That's why we got a beautiful venue now. So are you ready? Right. Yeah, now what do I do okay. next? Okay. 
Okay. So the next thing, you are going to flip your two cups. Right, let's flip it. Whoopsie. Okay. It, it's just it's just a puddle at this moment, a puddle of colours uh, on a on a white little piece of board. Okay, so because there's silicon in this specific painting, yeah. we're going to use a torch. When you torch it, you heat up the silicon that we put in the okay. paint. Okay. And when that comes up, uh, the, the silicon bursts and you see the colour underneath. So we call it cells. So it creates cells. Once you're done with your torching, you can start tilting. Actually. Okay, you're doing well. So all you want to do now is you want to cover the top of your canvas before you let the, the paint tilt off the sides. Okay, so there's okay. just tilt it. Oh. So you will see as you tilt it. So this is playtime now. This oh, is I'm enjoying it. This is where you look at your design. <laughs> yes. You look at your design. If there's something you like specifically, you try not you to tilt it off. I got you. Okay. If you don't like something you tilt in that direction and you try and tilt it off the way you tilt it i mean you can imagine um, if you turn it left right left right quickly you make little circles the paint is going to move so so this is playtime and, 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 and eventually it goes over the edge as well so it's yes. completed right around the canvas so eventually you want to to let it run over the side so how much you do you think this is going to be worth <laughs> <laughs> yours i think yours is going to be worth a lot because look at those colors I could come back for this. <laughs> I could sit through 90 minutes of doing this. It's How a paint doing? pouring session uh, and I'm lost in it. So forgive me if I've forgotten about you listening <laughs> at this moment in time. I, it does get you just, it just sucks you into the colors. And I think the process and the randomness of the final product unfolding and how you're manipulating that random kind of thing into some kind of order. Do you have like a website, um, a website presence? I do not have a website, but you can find me on Instagram. Or Facebook, the paint pouring people. Okay, now just tell me that was the pouring. You said that was the easy style, right? That was the easy one. Well, they're all easy. They're all different, but this is the easiest. The easiest of them all because you don't have to think too much. Yeah. <laughs> you just literally throw your paint in the cup and you throw it on the canvas. And I want to talk about just how you can control outcomes as well. Is uh, like uh, I'm looking at your feather. I'm looking at the dark and, uh, and uh, the light and shades. Um, what, what other stuff would you use other than paints in those kind of creations? Okay, so let's start with the, the orange one. Yeah. So that is a swipe technique. There you, you'll add a lot of water uh, or, or some water to your paint and you use swiping tools. It could be any kind of a plastic or a palette knife. Um, and then you just pick Oi. your colors and, and you can actually plan there. How do you want to, to, to do your swipe? Do you want... And then the one at the back, that's called the Dutch ball, the purple and black. Yeah. So there you use a hairdryer or you use what? your mouth or like any little and you're blowing blow stuff. tool. Oh, yeah, okay. so you blow stuff. And it's such a beautiful, it's, it's, it's purple and, and black, is it? Yeah, well, it, 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 when I started, it was dark purple. When it dried, it, <laughs> it I, dried I, I, basically black. Yeah. It's a powerful piece. It's gorgeous. I love that. I don't, you know, normally, normally people who, who's doing their own paintings, they never like it. But that specific one, I think it's nice. It's gorgeous. And the feather is also very, very beautiful indeed. Thank you. What's We've an ideal class size for you? You know, we do from one, one on one. Um, and I think at the new venue, we can easily accommodate up to 40 people. Okay. Madeleine, wie eens, waar kan ons vir jou kry? Jylle kan my kry op Instagram. Mm of op Facebook. Makkelijkste is Instagram, daar is ook een link op ons Instagram bio na, na um, al die venues waar ons is, die datums waar ons is, die technieken wat ons doen, want as jy een techniek gedoen het, dan wil jy die volgende techniek doen. En is the paint people, the paint pouring people. The paint pe pouring people. The paint pouring, pouring people. people. Ja. PPP. PPP, the yes, there we go. <laughs> Oeh. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a paint pouring person, yes indeed. Yes. <laughs> uh, dankie Madeleine. Clarence, bye, dankie. It was, it was lovely. It was lovely. Absolutely lovely. Baie dankie, baie dankie. Ga my naam opzit en kyk hoeveel duisende kan kry.